today I'm going to bring you the inside of what happens at the Spiegel tent. So and it's then, actually our 10 year anniversary this year, so that's yeah. what the decadence is all about. Very good. Um, so it's the whole 10 years of the festival, so it's a big one. Yeah, it's like, just, it's something different, like it's kind of like the novelty of getting to come into like this thing that just appears like it was yeah. built in, like we got it on the Wednesday and like come Friday it was completely built and ready to go for show for Saturday night. Hi there, I'm just going to give you some back background on what the Spiegel tent is. It's a large traveling tent constructed from wood, canvas and decorated with mirrors and stained glass. Originally it was built in Belgium during the, the late 19th and 20th century. Uh, this one particularly gets wrapped up after here and makes its way to Australia. So this is like I said, uh, there was, this is the 10th year that the Spiegel tent's been uh, around in Wexford. So that's basically the back and the side view. We're gonna go inside and see what it's all about. Just wanted to give you a tour of what it looks like on the outside. And the real magic happens when you go inside. Here's some of the shows that he has. Rubber plant being the big one. Neil Delamere, Whistling Donkeys, which was last night. My partner Emily went and seen that. She said it was an excellent show. Highly recommended. So they have something a bit for everyone. You know, the younger crowd, they have comedians, they have Tommy Turner and Dylan Warren. You know, the Prohibition Party, which is a big party where everyone dresses up in the Prohibition time. You have so many different events. You know, Dylan Warren's on two nights, on Sunday and Monday. And I believe they're both sold out. Yay. So I'm going to read the, the, the link down below. It's 10 years of Wexford's Beagle Tent. Decades it is. This is the other side of the Spiegel tent. Um, shows you the uh, sponsors and the supporters and the supporting businesses that help the event uh, make it what it is. And here's the decorations on the outside with the uh, security th security barriers with the, uh, the cloth. It makes it like a carnival atmosphere. And then there's the Spiegel tent in the background from this side. Showed you the other side. Um, and here's the, the back part where they have, I guess for the bands and stuff, the sporting actors sit, and, and also the equipment where it's it stored afterwards. So we're coming up to, uh, it's coming up to uh, three o'clock when I get to go in and I'll show you all the spectacular ambiance inside. It's really, really amazing. Uh, just wait till you see it. I just can't wait. Good afternoon everyone, it's the 29th of October. As it is in Ireland at this time of year, it's a little bit raining, but what better place than to have a Spiegel tent, which you see right behind me, offered for entertainment during the same time as the Opera Festival hits in Wexford. Now for those of you who didn't see the Wexford uh, opening night Opera Festival ceremony, uh, I'll leave that at the end, please follow that. Give me any uh, comments that you had about it and see how you enjoyed it, it includes the whole fireworks. But today, I'm gonna to bring you the inside of what happens at the Spiegel tent. I'm gonna ask uh, where the idea came from, the different events they have, because they're not just a one-trick pony. They do lots of stuff in Wexford, and it's really beneficial to Wexford town. So stay with me to the end, and I'll give you all the highlights and all the ins and outs of what happens at the Spiegel tent the event, the Spiegel tent festival in Wexford town. Okay, welcome everyone. So I'm here with Tiana. Yeah. <laughs> she works for Lantern Presents. Um, gonna go, she's gonna show me around a bit of the place and we have a few questions to ask her uh, to tell us about more about all the things that is offered to Wexford Town through Lantern Presents. So first of all, welcome Tiana. Um, so this is the entrance where you come in, you see this, the entrance way in the Spiegel tent is yeah. right there. So and it's then, actually our 10 year anniversary this year, so that's yeah. what the decadence is all about. Very good. Um, so it's the whole 10 years of the festival, so it's a big one. Yeah, 
and then so you walk in and then you said to the left there's this bars this is their box office and then all this one is just for all the staff just put all our bits in yep and um, so it's kind of like our generic area where everyone kind of just filters through and then you walk in through the barricades then and you're into the courtyard yeah um, which is just before you pop into the tent you can grab your drinks from the bars the seating area okay all your toilets and then you make your way up to they're the very tent. important yes they surely are yeah. <laughs> they're well used <clears throat> yeah, like I said, my partner was here last night, uh, and she said it was thronged. There was like, she said it must be about 600 people here. I think it was 1,100 last 1100, night. 1,100, so very busy. It was one of our busiest nights, so many more to come. Well, yeah, I, 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 sh I took a shot of all the events uh, you have planned. Yeah. So I'm going to have that then I'm gonna, on the, um, the vlog at the bottom in the description. I'm going to put the uh, your website. Perfect. So if anyone's in Wexford, during the opera festival and this is the time when they you can come in and you see what's happening with the Spiegel and all their events it happens every year like you said it's the 10th year also they also have a lot of different events so you also yeah. have the Min Ryan Park we do stuff all throughout the year so we have like our summer series which is Min Ryan Park which is established as Park Live now yeah and um, so that's kind of towards the end of August um, and then you kind of come into the Spiegel tent for the opera festival and it's up for the two weeks and then around Christmas time we have our Santa experience on the Keys of Wexford Winter Wonderland yeah. um, which is like you go in and you meet Santa you have, we have a little cinema in there this year so you have a little short film to watch at the end you get to go into Mrs Claus so it's like a whole little experience for the family um, yeah we've just so much stuff that we have going on it's great very good <laughs> Uh, you don't have the ice rink anymore, or uh, not is, this year? Yeah. It's not confirmed as of yet. Because so. of the COVID thing, it, how did COVID affect you? Because I know it was shut down for two years, and yeah, we really. had to kind of adapt. So yeah. we had like little outdoor uh, sessions on the key, and it was just like it was trying to overcome that. And then obviously the Spiegel tent was at a reduced capacity in the year with COVID, and it was just kind of trying to overcome that and still have the events, so we're not losing yeah. it in Wexford. We just kind of had to adapt and have. Different, different routes to take with it. So we had the outside ones, we had Mick Flannery down for that. Um, yeah, it was just great. It was kind of different routes that we had to take and seeing how we could go with it, but it was all still very much achievable. Well, like I said, uh, it's very, very important for Wexford, I think, because the Opera Festival would bring something, uh, but this sort of comp accompanies it and it, there's something for everyone. There surely is. Whereas like, the Opera is sort of a niche market and it's an yeah. international, which is good for the town, but I think this this helps people because usually in october it's really bleak the weather's terrible yeah, in wexford so people stay inside so this brings them out so at least for another month they're active in the community exactly. and there's kind of a different category in the tent for everyone so we've comedy we've music we've theater we've kids shows like this year one of the biggest names we got was robert plant so that was just crazy yeah. when it was announced yeah. it was just such a good buzz up in the office and everything um, and then the likes of comedians like tonight we Neil Delamere then we've Gavin James on directly after so we've more live music we've had John McNally who's just skyrocketing um, the academic opened at first they're always a festival favourite and we've just so many other ones coming up loads wow of stuff. so I'm going to quickly go through walk around and I'll show you what the uh, Spiegel tent looks like on the inside now you can all imagine what it's like at night with the lights and then the buzz like, like I said my partner here was yesterday and Tiana just confirmed there was like 1,200 people here. So you imagine what this event looks like with 1,200 people. And she said the music was amazing. It was crazy. It was yeah. The tent was hopping. So it's always good to see. So on here you have the, the bar section. So here's where you, you get your beverages. And then I guess that's for this the sound. This is all our sound tech. And then yeah. so we kind of make your way down. When it's a standing show, all the seats are obviously taken out. Yeah. And that's kind of your main dance floor. Okay. Um, or your main ring. And then we have all the boots uh, around for our sponsors. Um, so then we have some house boots as well, um, which are just used on the night. So we have okay. them named. They kind of change the name every year. So this year we just decided to go with the names of different tents that we've had in the past. So we have like the Romantique and there's Idolize somewhere else scattered about. Okay. Um, I can point where I just see them, just, and then it's all of our sponsor things just put up in the lights then for when they're in. Wow. And then, then you have the bands up there, the stage with the events. And it's very compact and intimate atmosphere, obviously. Yeah, it's definitely a completely different experience. It's, I've seen some of the acts like in, that we've had in different venues, and it's just, it doesn't really compare to Spiegel. It's just the whole atmosphere. It's yeah. Like, do you get a lot of support from the community, like with Wexford County Council? And, 100%. Yeah. 100, 110%. Like, it's just so great. Like, it's kind of all arms pop in when you need hands. So it's so good to see it. And, like, you've been able to be on the key for the two weeks and have 
it every year and be able to bring the events in and have that kind of like period of time just to have it on the key it's just great and you don't get any backlash from the uh, opera s society like no because you're not really competing not. it's sort of no and it's kind of like we both do our own thing and it's just like both support each other very good like I said I was I, little known fact like when I was I think it was a few years back um, I worked in the ice rink for yeah. Brian it was Brian and Barry at the time yeah and uh, that was a, a nice experience and I got to experience a bit of it and that it was really helped me out and then See a bit of the craziness. <laughs> now last six years I'm working in Zurich and in insurance which is a totally different field <laughs> but I mean I, I've always loved the Spiegel tent the idea behind it and like I said it, what it brings to the the town and uh, I'm sure the business yeah like, it's just it's something different like it's kind of like the novelty of getting to come into like this thing that just appears like it was yeah. built in like we got it on the Wednesday and like come Friday it was completely built and ready to go for show Saturday night um, and we had it down here for the opening of fireworks and everything. It was great. It was just, it was really nice to have it. And um, yeah, no, it's, there's just something different about being able to pop in here because it's, it's just a completely different experience for a gig. Like it's, you have like all the wooden features and it's, the acoustics in here are brilliant. So it's just, yeah, it's something that I've always loved to go to even before working here. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, um, I did the opening uh, festival uh, of the fireworks. So that, that'll be at the link uh, below. If you haven't seen the uh, the opening festival, I have the whole walk through the town. I had the whole fireworks show, and I showed the outside of the Spiegel tent, and that's why I wanted to, to get inside to show you what it looks inside. And I think it's really important for the town. Um, so make sure that you uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and comment. Comment for places that you want me to see. Like I said, there's 25 areas that have uh, videos of vlogs I've put up so far in the two months that I've started it. Um, I'm open to go other places, so make sure you you comment on places that you that I haven't been to yet that you want me to see. Okay, so let's walk around and yeah, you can do a shot around. Just, you can go around the back. We can have a quick look at the yeah. green rooms and everything. Um, there's no, I think Gavin's arriving soon enough, so it's kind of ours. Have a little yeah. pop out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just all the booths then for the sponsors. Um, it might be a bit tricky getting in this one. Just with okay. The now we can get through the chairs. Yeah. And stuff. No just to see the. The, this part is cool too, like the yeah. uh, the craziness of it's it all, like, like what happens yeah, before the, <laughs> the, the, the before act. Good to see all the behind scenes. Yeah. So that's another one of the houses and the parties. So it's another okay. one of our tents that we've had before. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like you said, it's amazing that this is just like canvas it comes in containers and then they it's just crazy. slap it all like, up it's and it's just the mat like i couldn't get over how fast it was because i've never been around for yeah of it, and it was just a shot up it was crazy but... and the weather doesn't really affect it that bad like because no, like, we've had terrible weather it was really and bad it's really resilient I find. it's like in terms of leaks and everything like it holds all the water like we had that night of the matchmakers last year there was really really heavy wind and rain and it was just didn't affect it in the slightest no. like it's really sturdy and it's just really well Built and it's just like it's perfect for these kind of events where it's kind of like pop-up events and it just works well for it. And then after this it heads off to Australia, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of pops around the whole place. So there's only seven of the tents actually left. Um and this is the biggest one, so we got the bigger one this year for the ten year anniversary. Yeah. So this is actually the Fortuna one, so we have an extra fifteen percent capacity. So it's just it's deadly. It's deadly to see if we can fill it as well and like the support from everyone every year is just great. Like I said, I love it. I love the whole thing, and it does bring a buzz. So imagine the benefits. Like the town people come out. Obviously, they'll go to get something to eat before. Yeah, it brings they'll so much to the, the town. They'll go to the pubs, um, especially with the lack of the uh, the uh, singing pubs no longer exactly, yeah, buzzing good. around the town. So I think it's really it's really good, and hope it lasts for at least another ten years, exactly, if not 10 more. Ten years in Canton. No, it's good. Like there's the likes of some of the older acts, like the Bay City Rollers, that don't tour as much anymore. Yeah. And Robert Plant, like people were saying, they're traveling for it, so it's kind of good to bring that aspect down to Exford as well, and bring that bit of community to the town. Exactly, because you have people that go to, uh, you know, the opera from all over the world, so it's good to come here and see this as well. Yeah, like I'd be prone to like if there's a gig on in Dublin, traveling up for it, so it's nice to see yeah. it happen the other way around. People from Dublin coming down here, so <laughs> the shoe on the other foot. Okay. Well, I think that's about it there. I, like I said, make sure that if you're in Wexford, you look up uh, Lantern Presents. Lantern, yeah. And then they have the, all their events. So not only is it during the October time when and November when the, uh, the Spiegel Festival is coming on, but they have events all year round, so support it. Make sure you come and see the sunny southeast. <laughs> Today not being sunny southeast, but 
you get the picture and enjoy Wexford because it is a beautiful place and it's my home away from home now. <laughs> Thanks.